Early one morning, if you strolled down 34th Street in Manhattan, you would have witnessed an unexpected sight, a man in a red jumpsuit scaling the iconic Empire State Building. But before panic could set in, it was revealed that the daring climber was none other than Academy Award winner Jared Leto. Far from preparing to portray King Kong in a new film, Leto had embarked on this audacious feat to check off an item from his bucket list and promote the upcoming world tour of his band, 30 Seconds to Mars, scheduled for March to September in 2024. Contrary to the imagery of a Hollywood blockbuster, Leto didn't climb the entire Empire State Building. His ascent commenced on the 86th floor, navigating the east side until he triumphantly reached the 104th floor. The entire spectacle unfolded in about 20 minutes, with Leto concluding his climb at the base of the building's famous illuminated antenna. In an exclusive interview on Today, the charismatic Suicide Squad star shared his experience of scaling one of the world's most iconic landmarks. I was more excited than nervous, to tell you the truth, Leto confessed. However, he didn't downplay the challenges, describing the climb as very, very hard and admitting it was more demanding than anticipated. With a mix of excitement and fatigue in his voice, Leto revealed the endurance and stamina the climb demanded, emphasizing the sharpness of the building's structure. To substantiate his claim, he displayed his bloody left hand, a testament to the physical toll the ascent had taken. Reflecting on the significance of the climb, Leto expressed his awe at watching the sunrise over the city that had held profound meaning for him. Recalling his childhood aspirations of becoming an artist, he highlighted New York as the place where dreams came true. For Leto, the Empire State Building symbolized that dream, standing tall as an emblem of artistic pursuit. And the Empire State Building was always that symbol for me, he concluded, echoing the sentiment that resonates with many aspiring artists who have looked to the city as the ultimate canvas for their ambitions.